Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18. You don't have it, say amen and I'll wait for you. Everybody has it, amen. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18 says, Come now and let us reason together. Say it the Lord. Amen. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Amen. <laughs> Give you an introduction here. Another way of saying, come and be clean. Amen. Now isn't it strange that God invites people to come to Him. I mean, can you imagine, you know, God asking me, come to me. Amen. Someone that's no good, drug addict, ex-convict, and, and uh, you know, I don't hear that too much. They come to me. Amen. But when the Lord called me and he said, come to me. Amen. He delivered me from drugs. He delivered me from my old ways. Amen. He gave me a new life. Amen. He's still working on me. Amen. And all he said was come. Amen. When he said come, I came. And I got saved. And I love him so much because he forgave me for so much. Amen. But isn't it strange that God invites people to come to him? A perfect, holy, almighty, all-powerful God calling each one of us to come to him. Amen. That's the kind of God that he is. Amen. You know, one would think that we would be knocking on his door, but in Revelation chapter 3, verse 20, he says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. The Lord stands at the door of our heart. And he says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in and dine with him or sup with him, and he with me. Amen. I, had a, I have a picture that it, of a door. It's an oval-shaped door. It's a lot of flowers, and Jesus is standing on the outside. He's knocking on the door. And I noticed that in that picture, the door doesn't have a door now on the outside. So he can't come in, he can't open the door, and he's not going to force himself, because he's not a burglar like I used to be. Amen? It has to be open from the inside. He knocks at the door of your heart, but he can only come in if you open it from the inside. Amen, preacher. Amen. Hallelujah. What would think that we would be knocking at his door? Or he's knocking at our door. Mm -hmm. Amen. In Luke chapter 19, verse 10, and I can read it for you. Uh, God seeks us before we seek Him. How many remember Zacchaeus? Zacchaeus was a, a short guy like me. Amen. You know, I used to be a Zacchaeus. Amen. And he had heard that Jesus was coming, but he was just passing through. Just like Jesus is there today, but he's just passing through. He's not going to stay. He's got to go, go on. And he won't stay unless you invite him to stay. Amen. 
And so the Kia was too short. The Bible says that when we stand, when I stand, most of y'all stand in front of me and I have to tiptoe to look to the other side. Amen. If we're watching a ball game or a rake or something, you know, the, most of y'all are taller than me. Amen. But the Kia was like that. He wanted to see. He heard about Jesus. He knew about Jesus. But he didn't have a personal relationship with Jesus. And Jesus was passing through. But he was just passing through. He wasn't going to stay unless you invited him to stay. So Jesus is coming by. And the Kia, he's too short because everybody's taller than him. He said he couldn't see because of the crowd. You know, some of us can't see who Jesus is because of the crowd of problems that we have in our lives. We want to see him, you know, but we can't because all these problems, they're too, you know, we're too short spiritual wise. Amen? There was a time that I was short spiritual wise. And I knew that Jesus, I would go to church and, and, and the prison systems and, and, and they would say, Jesus is in the highway, you know, I can't see him. I got man, all these problems don't let me, you know, they blind my, I can't see. Because I had a big problem, amen. And I couldn't see. But the key is that he was sure he wanted to see who this Jesus was. Maybe some of y'all want to see who Jesus really is. And but you feel that you're too short spiritual wise. You know about him the, the, the Christmas time. You see him in the manger scene. You see him on the crucifixion. You see him on the cross. But you don't have a personal relationship. Let me tell you, he's not a baby no more. Let me tell you, he's not on the cross anymore. He has not grown from the dead. He ascended into heaven. And one day, he's coming back. Amen. Amen. Better get to know him today. That he was too short, so he comes. He said, man, I got, I got, a, I got to climb that tree. So he went and ran and, and got on the tree and he climbed and he wanted to see who Jesus was. And Jesus was passing by. And Jesus stopped and looked at him. The Kia, come on down. For today I must abide in your house. Those invitations, come on down. Because today, I want to live in your life. I want to live in your heart. I want to abide in your house. Amen. Amen. And you don't have to climb the tree anymore because Jesus already climbed it for you. He hadn't climbed it then. But he went to the cross and he climbed the, 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 the tree of the cross. Amen. For your sins, for my sins, for the sins of the whole world, that whosoever, amen, come to him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. Praise God. I'm just doing the introduction. <laughs> but let me see what happened here at the end of the Kia. I think it's verse 10 here. For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. Amen. Son of man came to seek someone that was lost. And I'm talking about I was lost. Amen. I was lost. And he came and he Arthur, I want to come in and help you. I want to change your life. I want to take over your life. Amen. And he did. He came in. I opened the door from the inside. And I cried out to kill me. Take my life. I don't want to live no more. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired of being sick and tired. 
And I got on my knees by my mother's bed, cried like a baby. That didn't kill me. And I had felt those burdens just release me. And I ain't been the same. Amen. Amen. I haven't been the same since then. Went to prison, got out. That I was a minister. They know that three months later, this is where the Lord has me now. And Isaiah was called to invite people to come and be clean. And that's why I'm here today. I'm inviting you to come and be clean. If the Lord changed me, He can change anybody. Amen. Amen. You're not too far gone. No matter what the society might say, He's too far gone. It don't matter. You're not too far gone for Jesus. Amen. He wants you to come to Him. He wants to clean you up. Well, Brother Sanders, you don't understand. I still drink. You can't, you can't stop on your own. He has to Get you away from that. You know, I tried to stop on my own a few times, but I, I couldn't do it. Try to kick drugs with other drugs. Went to AAs and NAs and CAs, and, and I didn't want to take it one day at a time. I wanted deliverance. If you're real, Lord, do something in my life. You know, they're not just take me. When you get to that point that you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, he said, well, I can do something. I know you're no good. I know and you can't get no glory for anything you do because you just ain't no good, but I, I can use you. I can show my glory through you. Amen. Is a man doing great? He's doing great. I'm just an instrument in his hands. I'm just a vessel that he used in. Amen. Amen. It's all for his glory. Everything that I try to do, I've gotten in trouble. Amen. <laughs> and everything he does in my life keeps me out of trouble. Glory to God. Amen. So I have a call to invite people to come to him be clean. He wants to clean your life up, man. Amen. Amen. It's a wonderful invitation. An invitation that is still being extended today. Amen. It's for you, it's for me, it's for them back then. It's going to be for the ones in the future. Your little children, your grandkids. He's still extending that invitation to you. Today. Amen. Now, what is this invitation all about? About you. Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord, for your word, Father God. I know that it cannot, it will not, it shall not return unto you void, but it will accomplish that what you send it to do, Father God. For you know the hearts of each person here today, today, Lord. And I know, Father God, that you want to clean us all up, Father God. And we thank you, Father God, for loving us so much, Father God. In Jesus' name. And everyone says, Amen. 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 Uh,